In this video, the auditor is following audit trails still related to total productive maintenance, but particularly focus on spare part management of the robot head. Watch this video and see whether the auditor does this effectively. So we've seen the machine number uh, 591032 is down at the moment because yeah. of a robot problem. Yeah. Um, take me through what you store here in terms of the robot heads. Yeah, so the, these are the robot heads. So these are obviously integral to the um, equipment so they go with the tool with the machine and allow the part to be removed um, and what's the spare part policy then for these robot heads so the these heads are we don't we don't have spares of, of the heads as it were so um, yeah we can get the component parts in fairly quickly and I understand that's the problem on that machine that is a problem on that some machine. component parts yeah. missing yeah which we're expecting tonight um, but yeah, so well, so. But I noticed for for these, yeah, we've got a number of heads missing. Yeah, where are those heads then? So some of them will be in production. So some of them will be in use. But there will be others that are that will have been uh, damaged and are waiting repair. So we'd have to go. We can go and talk to maintenance, and they'd be able to. So if give I us take I take those numbers then. Yeah. And we'll go and. So what I need to know is what is the spare part policy on those robot heads? Yeah. Where are those robot heads now? Yeah. And what is the current status of them? Okay. So I want to follow an audit we'll... trail on that now to maintenance. Yeah. So let's summarise. ITF one six nine four nine has very specific requirements related to total productive maintenance. And the key requirement is 8.5.1.5. And as a part of that requirement, there is a requirement about maintaining spare parts for some of the key process equipment. And within this particular organization, they used a lot of robots. So the auditor was following the audit trail around the spare part management around the robot heads which was good. And what they found is that there didn't appear to be a good spare part management system. So this is something that the auditor could follow further audit trails on and see, is there just a problem with spare part management on the robot heads or is there no real, real risk-based analysis of what spare parts need to be maintained for some of the key process equipment? So let's try and summarize Spare part management is a key part of having an effective total productive maintenance system. And in this particular example, it didn't appear that they had a good spare part management system. 